Hello friends, I am Prabhjot, your occupational therapist and today I am going to continue my series on reflex integration therapy to talk about the reflex known as snout reflex. This is a reflex very few people have heard of but this is a reflex if it does not integrate in children can lead to difficulty with swallowing, can lead to difficulty with speaking and overall pronunciation of alphabets. This reflex happens when the area around the lips of the child is stimulated which usually happens while speaking or while eating. So if you tap somewhere around the upper lip of the child, you will find that their lips pucker. There is some kind of pouting kind of action with their lips. So if this happens, you can imagine the child will not accept food. They will have sensitivity around the mouth. They will not swallow the food properly and there will be challenges with speaking as well. Interestingly, this reflex is a sign, whenever this reflex gets integrated, it is a sign of frontal release. So, which means frontal lobe of the brain is primarily responsible for motor skills. So, this reflex can actually delay motor skills in a child. Gross motor skills starting from very basic ones like crawling, extending to walking, running and so on. So the first set of movements that you can do with your child if you already find challenges with swallowing or speaking is help them with their motor skills as well because that stimulates the verbal part too. In order to do that practice with them creeping on their tummy which is shifting themselves forward on their tummy like a lizard. Secondly crawling action where they can either do on their hands and their knees or animal walk pattern where they try to walk in their hands and their feet. Another activity that can be beneficial here is crawling through tunnels. So providing them with a tunnel and child tries to crawl through it. In order to integrate this reflex, now the oral motor activities that you can give to the child are ask the child to keep their lips relaxed and say I'm going to touch your upper lip gently. Try to keep your lips steady. Don't move them. Try to keep the pressure light, gentle and try to keep it a very firm pressure in specific locations. Don't go too fast initially so the child has the time to process that I'm not supposed to move my lips in any way. Later on you can turn it into a tapping pad and increase the frequency. The second one is the child gaining control over the muscles around the lips. In order to do that, ask the child to try to keep their lips closed, maintaining lip closure and try to provide resistance in the upper and the lower part. Make sure that you are not pressing too hard into the gums of the child because that will make the child resist you. Thirdly, try to make them practice different movements of the lips. What are those? Simple smiling and then bringing your lips together. After that, they can practice blowing actions because that is a specific voluntary action of the lips. They can try to blow into a whistle if that is not easy for them. They can try to suck through the lips. They can use straws for this. Different kind of textures can be used for the liquids that are provided to them for sucking. For example, they can use water initially and then move on to thicker liquids like they can try to suck on to juices. And finally, production of vowel sounds which also helps in overall pronunciation. So let them elongate the sound of each vowel. Ah, e, a. First, they extend the sound for as long as they can and you can count to 5 or maybe 10. And this provides a voluntary movement of the lips and then bringing them back together in a normal pattern. These exercises really help in integrating the snout reflex, which trust me is going to improve speaking, feeding and motor skills of your child. Please like this video if you found it informative. 
Subscribe to the channel for more videos related to child development and reflex integration therapy. Don't forget to share the video so that maximum parents benefit from it and don't forget to add any queries or suggestions in the comments below. We'll meet again soon. Bye.